Okay, guys, so obviously the Night Shift only won. It's going to be the sequel game. Now, I can't stress enough how many times I need to tell you guys, Tom can't show us any more models. Unfortunately, Tom doesn't have them, and he's worked really hard on what he has with, you know, right now. Now, here's a couple of things you might have not known. Iggy Tastical Day! It's a reference to something. Of course, if you pay close attention to a few of my episodes, you know what it's a reference to. Hey! Now, this is kind of creepy. He's looking at the camera. I don't know what he's doing, but again, that is really creepy on so many levels. I don't like it when the dog is looking at you. They said they were recreating Iggy, right? They're recreating the original, which is the 1.0 one. And he's highly intelligent, so if they make him... He's already a blooming genius as he is, so this is going to be worse. Iggy 1.0 is being higher intelligence, he could think for himself, he could learn. Meaning, it is possible he can turn the lights off by himself. It is possible he's going to learn what we're doing and he's going to be a really clever dog. Oh, poo. Okay, so let's have a look. Cam 1, cam 2, 3, 4, 5, C, 7, 8. Why is number 9 a mystery camera? Where's, num where's cam 9? Why is that like in the middle of nowhere? Let's come nine. Tom, why is there a mysterious camera that's not connected to anything? Oh God, what the hell is this come nine for? Why is it a mystery floating camera? Oh great, Twinkle's not looking forward to this one. It's a magical camera thing. Oh please. Wait, can this dog get in the vent? Like the last one. Oh please, say no, you can't. I'm not really sure what he's doing. I honestly can't tell you what he's doing at the moment. Either way, it can't be good. And who besides me likes this be here? Half, half black, half normal colour. Again, as I told you before, Shadow Iggy is in fact Iggy 1.0. You guys will actually see a ton of Discovery episodes up on the channel shortly, which will actually um, show you guys what I'm referring to. And a couple of other interesting facts. But who besides me likes the dark coloured one? That, you know, the fact that he's all black. But again, it says that they remade him. And he does have colour here. But then what the heck is this one doing in the title screen? Why is he up here? Why is there like a half black one? If he's actually painted black, that dog... He's actual proper animatron. We're in trouble because if he's completely black and he is actually moving around in here, we won't see him. Because it's dark enough this and we're never going to see that in there. Oh. Two evils work great together. Yes, they do. Oh. The nightmare is on the way. Again, I don't know how many floors this place is going to have. It's just been remade. And, as I've explained several times, the reason that Tom is working on the sequel is because he's yet to have the models that he needs for the first one. He doesn't have any of the models for Tamble, Stingy, any of them. He's only got Iggy. So, yeah. Also, 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 I need to tell you guys some good news. Tom wrote in the comments he might actually be adding more plushies. Yay! I don't know if there's plushies in this one. There's a plushie on the desk. Hopefully we start with that plushie on the desk. That'll make me feel so much better if I have one. On the desk the whole entire time. That'd be great. Again, I don't know what the power's going to be like. I don't know if we're going to have like loads of different like, mechanisms to use. The dog is hiding around the corner. Yay. Bloody dog's genius. Ugh. Bad things are going to happen really quickly in this place. And if he's remade with a G1.0 who's intelligent and can think for itself, we're going to have a really hard time with this one. He's a really, really, really smart dog. Oh, poo. 
What was the Omen of Thinking? But didn't the the phone guy, the phone call that we heard in the codes, when Master said that they were deciding to, they found like the old gang, yay, and they bring them all here. Your description says there's only one. Are we going to see like hallucinations of the other characters, or I mean like a hallucination of the other Iggy's? Ease of past, future, present, God knows. I don't know what's going to happen. I really don't. Oh, God. Yay. Oh, poo. And again, I don't think this is a fun house. At all. I think they... Really I think they said they were going to lean more towards like a horror side of the story. That they wanted to go for more of like a horror theme. Didn't they? It's not what they said like in, a, in the phone call in the codes. That um, the owner was planning on going the spooky route. I totally disagree with this idea for a spooky route because it's spooky enough as it is. We don't need it any more spooky. Oh. Yeah, hi. Oh. <laughs> Great. And I have trouble with the dog right now. This is going to get even harder. But I wonder what like the end of the night sound is going to be. Sorry, that was just totally random. I couldn't help it. I don't know if there's going to be mini games or anything like that at all. I don't know. Thompson told me a thing, so. I don't know. And there's nothing in the description as I said. And it says, well, kind of. So, so, um, there could be more. There could be something more sinister waiting around the corner. Yay. I hope you're excited for this. I'm really excited to see the sequel and the first game. But really excited to see the sequel, especially if I could see a freaking dog in that colour. Or at least, you know, a restaurant. I like how shiny it is. You still look like the evil of the two. No offence. And you constantly moan. You shouldn't be called Iggy the Elder. You should be called Iggy the Moaning. Moan, moan, moan. That's all he ever does. He moans. And Iggy's not even with him at the time. He just moans when Iggy comes to my office. Bloody dog. I hope he doesn't moan in this one. Again, not really sure what he's doing. I think he's in front of a chair, but he... Right now, at first glance, it looks like he's like on a chair and he's gripping it, but I know that's not what he's doing. And his mouth is like wide open. Also, I need to point out something here. Hang on, I'm a bit suspicious actually. Something Tom said is actually making me think. Hold on, guys, I'm going to take this image and I'm going to brighten it up just in case there's something hidden. Hopefully there's not and Tom's been like really nice not to add any, any, any hidden things in there. Like what I think might be hidden there. Hopefully there's nothing hidden there. He wouldn't do that to me, hopefully. But why would it be pitch black? I'm just going to double check that. Just be on the safe side. Be right back. <laughs> 